Hey, what's up everybody? Alf here and today we're spinning every pogey stop in Capitol Hill. So located just west of downtown Seattle, Capitol Hill is the city's nightlife uh, and entertainment hub. Uh, it's our historic gay neighborhood. It's also where I've called home for the last decade. Uh, so today we're gonna be walking around. We're gonna try and spin uh, the Pokestops here. I'll be showing you some of my favorites. There's some new ones that have popped up at Well that we're going to uh, highlight. We're gonna eat, we're gonna drink, we're gonna have a really good time. So let's get at it. Our first stop today, uh, as always, I gotta start with morning coffee. Uh, and to this time we've started our morning coffee at Top Pot Donuts. Top Pots is an institution here in Seattle. It is the donut place. There's a lot of really good donuts in Seattle, honestly. It's pretty hard to pick just one donut place to show you, but Top Pot happens to be a gym and uh, great donuts. They've got more of a cake donut. Um, highly recommend any of their old fashions, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, have our cup of coffee. I've got my, my preferred donut, which is the uh, maple glazed old fashioned. It's very good. Uh, they also do a very good set of seasonal old fashions. I'm a, I'm a basic bitch. They have a pumpkin spice old fashioned that I absolutely love, but it's not in season. So um, we're gonna enjoy, we're gonna take a look at what we've got Pokestop wise today, and then we're gonna sort of uh, see what the day is gonna look like. So each and every time we do this, there's gonna be a goal. Um, I'm starting the day today at 5,672 Pokestops. I'm just about at 5,700. So that's actually gonna be my goal today. I think what we're gonna do is try and get as many of these new stops that have uh, popped up. We've had a few pop-ups since I've been on vacation in the last couple weeks. And then I'm gonna look for some pockets in the neighborhood where I haven't got in before. And we'll see if we can go ahead and get to a nice even round number. I'm a sucker for a nice even round number. We'll see how many we can hit today. So I've never been here. This is less than a mile from my house and this is a really cool uh, sort of Buddhist park associated with the uh, the church across the street. And I've, I've literally never been here. I've lived here for a decade and I didn't even know this was here. So that's, that's actually kind of dope. So it's literally the first episode of this and I'm already kind of breaking my own rules about where I'm eating. So I'm here at Melrose Market. Melrose Market is a really, really awesome uh, space in which uh, local practitioners, artisanal sort of goods makers can hang out and offer their wares. So there's uh, a butcher in there, there's a great local cafe called Homegrown that has some locations around. But I opted to choose something that I got really excited for when I saw it, I've never eaten. Um, and it's a place called Sankaku. It is an onigiri place. If you're not familiar with onigiri, uh, it's rice balls. It's those triangle rice balls. Uh, they make them right there. Uh, I've got the uh, tuna mayo, which is my favorite. I've also got a really nice uh, seaweed salad with some fried tofu in it that I'm really, really excited to try. All right, let's first, let's try this uh, seaweed and tofu thing. So we've got little bits of, uh, of tofu. We've got some seaweed, we got some edamame in here. It's looking really good. It smells really good. But yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's get into the uh, the onigiri. Yeah, let's give it a, let's give it a try. All right, that's pretty excellent. Really, really good. Usually, one of the concerns I have with onigiri is usually the rice gets a little dry and flavorless. This is definitely not that. Really, really well done. It's a perfect lunch to uh, get us out and going again. Maybe hit the rest of those stops. So. We're finish this up and we're gonna keep grinding. So 
so I asked a whole lot of people here in uh, my neighborhood what they what their favorite stop was what's the stop that they like to send gifts from and this is uh, two lizards fighting over a banana I know the lighting isn't great, but it's kind of the vibe here. Uh, after a long day of grinding, nothing makes me happier than sitting down uh, to a nice cool beverage and a nice tasty snack. And lucky for me, my home away from home watering hole happens to be a gym. Uh, this is the unicorn. Unicorn is, well, shall we say it's unique. It's a, a fabulous place to drink. It's a fabulous place to hang out. Uh, great people, great vibes, very unique decor. Uh, and you know, strong drinks, good bar food, all of the things that a boy needs after grinding. Um, we went out, we did our thing, we ended the day at 57.17. That's pretty good. That's 17 over what I thought I was gonna do. Honestly, y'all, thank you for watching this. I want to know your feedback. This is something I really enjoyed making. I don't know how to edit it. That'll be fun. What is editing? Oh shit, I don't know how to edit. But I really wanna hear some feedback on this. What do you think? What do you wanna see from this? Um, if you've got a hometown that you think would be awesome for something like this, if you've got a great favorite bar or restaurant that is a Pokestop, leave it in the comments for me. I'd love to hear about that. I do intend to do some of these while on the road because I'm not gonna be able to spin all the Pokestops in the world if I don't leave Seattle. So. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Cheers, friends.